Welcome back again, everyone, to the Bavarian Soundworks video installation guide series. Um, here we are in the trunk of an E46 sedan. Uh, the coupe's going to be identical. Uh, the, the methodology will be the same, however, in terms of acquiring the, the wires we need and routing the cables and such. Um, we're going to be installing a DICE uh, Duo, or a DICE Media Bridge in this case, um, which is going to let us integrate our iPods, our Droid phones, USB charging, Bluetooth streaming, auxiliary input, satellite radio, um, you can even plug in a microwave too. It's pretty impressive. Uh, I, I don't know if you can do that. It's possible. It's, it's, um, so it's really straightforward. We just want to get started back here and show you about getting the trunk apart and how to take the cables to the front. So let's get started. Let's get this trunk apart. Let's get the three and six pin connectors and get this process moving forward. Uh, the sedans and the coupes are both going to need to remove the taillight. Uh, in the sedan, it's going to be a little plastic knob that you twist counterclockwise. In the coupe, it's going to be a plug. Both of them are going to have the same little clips right there. Simply unplug that. There's going to be a couple of little black... Well, this one's... this car's missing it, but there's going to be a couple little black... Actually, there's one. There's one down here, and then there's one up top. It's just a little plug like this. So you pull out this connector, slide that thing out of there. Now, put that over on the side. I'm going to... Fold back the carpet. We're going to reveal a couple of more little plastic clips down here using our metal panel removal tool and our BSW toolkit set. I'm going to pop these guys out of here. Again, put them over here on the side so as not to misplace anything. Let's pull this out. Get that out of our way. And now this carpet, you can just peel it out of here. It's all, you can bend it. Don't worry about breaking anything. It's just carpet. If you have a CD changer, it would have been back there, which this car doesn't. Most of our cars don't have that feature. So we just pull the carpet out. Pretty straightforward. And sometimes you'll find the connections hanging out right here. They're, they're always in this padded wrap. Sometimes they're tucked behind the amplifier, but they're always in this wrap. And this might actually... Oh, this is it. You never know what they were doing the day they made your car. Yeah, there we go. So what we're looking for are these elusive three and six pin connections. So this three and six pin connector that we've just located, if you've got a CD changer, they're going to be plugged into it. So if your CD changer is installed, it's going to be right here. So you'll take four eight millimeter screws, remove them out, unplug the CD changer, sell the CD changer, and then these will plug into our cable that we're going to route to the front of the car. So that being said, if you look up here towards the front of the firewall, you can see that black grommet back there. That's where we're going to route the wires through into the cabin. Um, if your car has fold-down seats, you don't have to worry about this. You're going to just fold down the seat and tuck the wire behind the carpet and up into the cabin. But for all you E46 sedan guys with fixed rear seats, this is how we do it. So let's pause here. We're going to actually go into the cabin, and we're going to get the back seat out of the car and then bring the wires from the front to the back. So we'll join you guys there momentarily. So we're here in the cabin. Uh, coupes are going to be the same as the sedans. We are going to still need to take out the bottom cushions in the coupes because we do need to get the, the cables to the front. So very simple. Your left hand, pull up, pull up. This one has clearly never been out. So we're going to get this center headrest out of here, move it out of the way. And if you're doing your stage one speaker upgrade, now's a good time to do, a, do the rear speakers as well because you'll have more access to the grills back here. They, they just pop right out. It's super simple. Oh, cool. Okay. So yeah, you just lift, just lift out towards the front of the car. And we're going to unhook the seat belts, of course, and then just lift up. Like so. Be careful not to scratch anything, mainly your doors. Um, this is also a good time, especially in, uh, if you're installing one of our uh, D110 subwoofer systems, to pull out this piece of insulation. And also, you can see here, this perforated metal. Knock that out. It lets the pressure from the woofer come into the cabin. So it's all perforated. You just need a hammer or a mallet, and you can just bang this right out. Don't worry. It's not going to affect the rigidity of the car. It was designed to come out. It's where the ski pass would be if your car had a factory ski pass. So, just a little tidbit while you're putting your iPod kit in. 
And here's that grommet we were looking for earlier. So let me grab the cable real quick, bring it up here, and now 